Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Everybody guys, another episode of our Pokemon Blazing Emerald Hardcore Nuzlocke. If you guys are enjoying the series, be sure to show some love and hit that like button down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you don't miss out on our epic series. I am doing this live with the Twitch homies as we do. And we are about to throw down here in Duford. We got some new encounters and new opportunities. And as you can tell, I shook up the team from the last episode. Just to recap what I did in between episodes, uh, I ended up saying, Boombox, take a nice nap inside the box. I know you like quiet time. And Amethyst, gonna hang out with all the water types because we basically have a fish tank chilling here. So we got that going for us. And in the meantime, Walnut makes it to the team, as does Kenny. And you can see them on the layout as well. So. Let us see what's going down. The first thing is, there is a new location here, Dewshine Beach. And there are new encounters for us to find. So let's see what we got here in this new area, Dewshine Beach. I don't know if there's, oh, there is grass, okay. I'm very nervous. Be careful not to step on Scorpion when you're running through the flower patches. Yo, can I get a Scorpion if I go through the flowers? Oh, I can get a Static Azuril? I think I just get an encounter and see what happens, guys. I think that's the play. Oh, dude, I gotta, I gotta just get it, don't I? I just have to commit to it. I'm just nervous that I'm gonna get something that's like not as exciting. What is it? A Swablu! Okay. Um, I mean, listen, it's a dragon. There's always an option there, you know, when it evolves. There's a static Azuril. There's the Scorpy, so it does exist, okay. I do get a Static Azuril here, so let's grab that. Oh, it's not, it's not a Static Azuril, he's just hanging out. All right, um, I don't really feel comfortable battling the Team Magma people until I get some levels. So this is Nimbus, and Nimbus is Fairy Flying. Wow, so that might mean it might be Fairy Dragon. Dude, how do you, how do you not put this on the team? Oh, dude, I gotta put this on a team, dude. Fairy flying is so good. I feel like I'm gonna put a little milk in the box for now. I know, I know that's a controversial decision based on Shady's playthrough, but I gotta do that. How do you not, how do you not put a, 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 a Swablu on the team when it's a fairy type? Especially with, uh, what's his name coming up as the gym leader, you know, the fighting type dude. I feel like, uh, I feel like a fairy flying is really strong. Um, oh, Bandito stole something from somebody. He stole a great ball, nice. What's the problem? Don't you want the Pokemon on this beach to be happy? Think how much better off they will be with more land. If you think terrorizing the locals and scaring away Pokemon, who's this Blake guy, is making anyone happy, you lot are a lot more delusional than I had thought. Listen here, chump. If you want to interfere with the official Team Magma business, you're in for a world of hurt. You don't stand a chance against the two of us. I will help you. You there, trainer. I could use some help dealing with these thugs. Would you give me a hand? Let's do it. Uh, I guess I'm sending in Scorch, Bendito, Kenny? Oh! Dude, Chad said I was gonna be fine, and look at that, look at level 20, dude! Oh, they're only 18, okay. I'm gonna Dragon Rage, we're gonna go for the Zubat first. Jeez, that Murkrow's powerful. I guess now is the perfect time to tell you guys that Kenny is actually dropping a mixtape soon. Look at that Teddy Ursa! Is that a fire Teddy Ursa? So back to Kenny's mixtape. Um, it's called Six Mile and he's dropping a fire mixtape. I kind of want Sunny Day. I feel like having weather as an option is, is like kind of valuable. Getting rid of Bite is tough, but I think I think it's worth. I haven't used Bite yet, so. Okay, so this battle wasn't too bad. Like, I had an OP partner here. Bandito's evolving? Yo, I didn't expect the evolution so fast. Uh, Yeah, I guess I didn't even think about Obstagoon, but that's obviously not a thing in this. Let me find some dope Linoon TCG art, which using the word dope and Linoon in the same sentence is, uh, not something we typically do. Although he does look kind of cool in this one. What? You haven't seen the last of Team Magma. When Maxi finds out about this, you two are in big trouble. Thank you for stepping in. That was some impressive battling for someone so young. With that mess sorted out, I shall return to my duties as gym leader of Doofer Town. 
I'm sure you'll be challenging our gym when you're ready. I look forward to seeing you in battle again. So it looks like Blake is the new gym leader, the dark type gym leader in Duford. So there's that. Dark type is what's next. So that's gonna be tricky. He looks like he was busted. Scorch, oh man, 20 is the level cap, okay. And I probably, against dark types, probably want Beauty Fly back on the team. And I haven't done Duford Cave yet. Chad, do I do Duford Cave first or do I do the gym first? The cave first, okay, that makes sense. All right, so Scorch just hit 20 as well. I'm gonna go forward and do the cave stuff that I gotta do. And then I'll train everyone up and make sure we're at the at the thing. Genji's learning Pin Missile? Yeah, I'm really liking this dude's moveset. He's learning some different moves here. But David is saying that the Marini I can only get in two areas and one of them is this cave. So if I wanted it, the only way I can get it is I basically have to skip my encounter now and come back later with Rock Smash, right? That's what you're saying? When do you even get Rock Smash in this game? Too many good encounters in the cave, don't bother skipping, fair. Okay. Self-destruct. Genji! Evolve! Let's do it. So if I didn't mess this up, I should get, I should get two Pokemon. I should get a Shininja as well. All you should need is an empty slot and a Pokeball, so we should be fine. I think Fury Cutter is better. It's 100% accurate in this game. I think I'd go with Fury Cutter. And I do have a Shininja, which I can't nickname yet, but is very cool. All right, so obviously uh, I can't nickname it yet. The name raider I think is in Slateport. So Shininja goes to the PC, but it is a usable Pokemon later. So that's dope. And then I honestly need to decide what six do I bring? This feels like a good six for dark type gym. All right, we get flash and this is our encounter. So let's see what we get. Give me something good, please. Machop, honestly not bad. Goro! Yo, shout out to Goro. He's back, baby! You already know it. Let's go. Goro's been lifting, ladies and gentlemen. Goro has indeed been lifting. I don't know if there's trainers in here, though. So now I need to get my team to level 20, and we need to decide which, which ones I'm bringing for the gym. I know everyone who's watching this right now, especially on YouTube, they're gonna be like, oh, A-Drive is using a Gyarados again. Wahoo. <laughs> you know what, actually though, in the meantime, I'm gonna actually, now that I think about it, let's um, let's train up some of the other Pokemon. Anyone who's level 20 doesn't need to be on the team right now. Oh, Flash does damage in this game? Oh, we're learning Dazzle Dust. Attacks with mystical dust that cuts the foe's HP in half? That's busted. Oh, baby, that's busted. All right, Walnut just hit max level. Flash apparently does damage in this game. 25, that's not bad. It's not bad. I'm gonna leave rap because we all know that Kenny's a rapper. Um, I did just pick up a, another level 22. Signal beam? Okay, Amethyst, calm down. And boombox, oh, boombox is evolving already at level 20. That's actually big, dude. Didn't expect the uh, boombox evolution there. Shrimp hits 20 and he's gonna evolve into a Gyarados. Like, how do you not take the Gyarados, right? <sighs> Intimidate's too good, man, it's too good. I realize that he's not gonna have the best moves, but honestly, like I said, I'd be crazy to not do it. Intimidate, assuming he has Intimidate. He may not, he does have Intimidate. Yeah, I mean, he's got Tackle, Splite, uh, Splash, and Bite. I don't know if he learns Rock Tomb or not. Yeah, I mean, he has no moveset, but I think Intimidate alone is worth having him. So let me update that. Uh, we're not bringing you, we're not bringing you, we're not bringing you, we're not bringing you. We are bringing you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Oh, I don't have Machop on the layout. Doesn't have any fairy type moves though. I think I leave Swablu off and bring Machop. And this is gonna be the team that we're gonna use to place, uh, face off against Blake, the dark type gym leader. Uh, we've got our Amethyst here with Signal Beam, very strong. We've got Shrimp the Gyarados, which has really bad moves, but does have Intimidate. Scorch our Dreepy, our starter here, of course, with Dragon Rage, always very powerful. Genji the Ninjask, very fast, very quick, and Fury Cutter. I think if I can bring him in and get a Fury Cutter off, we may just win. There is no reason for him to have Quick Claw. <laughs> Let me fix that. I'll give him a Berry Juice as well. Bandito holding on to a Berry Juice. 
has Covet, which is a fairy type attack in this game. And then Goro Armachop, which has low kick and rock tomb. Uh, it gives me a dark type immunity, or resist rather. So let's do it. Let's see how it goes. Yo, how's it going? I heard you and Blake teamed up to take on some Magma Low Lowlifes. He seemed really excited about having a match with you. He has dark type Pokemon. Going against him without strong Pokemon of your own is no good. Dark Pokemon will lay a serious smackdown on Psychic or Ghosts, so be careful. What's worse is the gym is dark as night, but it'll get brighter after defeating trainers in your way. Go for it. All right, let's see it. All right, Hex Maniac Lillian has a uh, Sableye to kick things off. We just Signal Beam. I realize I don't really have potions, but I think that's okay right now. No one gets XP, just to save me a trip back to the Pokemon Center. All right, we got, oh, it's a double battle. I was not prepared for that. Murkrow and Sableye. I don't want to leave Amethyst in to take a, um, Wing attack. I'm gonna go Bandito, and then I'm gonna go for, I'll switch Shrimp out into Goro. This is a scary battle. We're actually fine. Um, we go for Covet into, the Murkrow is the bigger threat here, and then we definitely switch out and go back into Shrimp for a second Intimidate. How do we get a second Intimidate off? Covet should be super effective. Does a good amount of damage. Here comes the Pursuit. Wow. I gotta be very careful for Pursuit in this game. I can switch you out now, and we can now go into, I think now it's safe to go into Amethyst. I have to be very careful. Murkrow is very good against my team. And we know he's gonna have one, because he had it in that Magma battle. We beat the double battle, and we can use some super potions here. This guy's just got a Murkrow. What did I just say? There's our berry juice. I have to restock berry juices in this battle. Oh, there he is. All right, I'm gonna go back and heal. It's just Sableyes and Murkrows, man, the whole gym. Acting like there's no other dark types that exist in the Pokemon universe. All right, let's gym time, baby. Um, you know, I, I feel like Amethyst is a good lead. Cause I can always pivot to Shrimp. So there's the gym leader, Blake, everyone. Let's do it. I like, I think Amethyst is good here. It's you, I had a feeling we would meet again. Now then, I don't believe I have properly introduced myself. I am Blake, Duford's gym leader. I've trained in total darkness to strengthen my Pokemon's resolve. In the pitch black, we reign supreme. So you wish to challenge me? Very well, I hope you've come prepared. I hope I've come prepared too. I think I win, it's just a matter of like, if I lose Pokemon. He's only got three months. He kicks it off with Murkrow. Of course he does. Um, I mean, I think you just have to, like Murkrow is the biggest threat for me. I think you just go Shrimp right away. I might get Pursuited, I don't. It's probably gonna go for a, a flying move, wing attack. You gotta, you gotta intimidate this thing. This is like definitely the biggest threat. The thing is, I don't wanna take too much damage on Shrimp here. I'm gonna tackle. He's gonna taunt. Okay, that actually is really, really good. Pursuit, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I miss a tackle, dog. I got the berry juice. I don't wanna get pursued it here. I gotta keep Shrimp's health high because I might need him for another intimidate. No! Oh, dude. Dude, you've gotta be kidding me. You've gotta be kidding me. Both gyms, both gyms, I get crit out of my mind against the first Pokemon. You can't make this up. I knew Pursuit was coming, but I did it because I felt that having Intimidate for later in the battle was gonna be more valuable and I get crit on Shrimp. Wow. That's rough. That's rough. Okay. And he's above the level cap, mind you. Goro one shots with low kick. So I think that's the play. I'm really nervous that he's gonna be able to two shot me though. He pursued me. Oh, Bendito with the two HP live. Let's go, Bendito. Goodbye. Two HP live. And a hound hour. This thing is a problem. I, I think you low kick. He's gonna howl. Okay, so the good news is after this low kick, I definitely, oh, I just win. Okay, I was gonna say, if it doesn't knock him out, I definitely win, but it may be at the cost of another Pokemon. All right, we beat him, but we lost shrimp, dude. I, I Every gym, man. I understand your power comes from within, driven by your own ambition. 
You have more than earned this gym badge. And I received the shadow badge from Blake, which I don't know what the shadow badge actually looks like. So, all right. Well, I'm gonna just use Brawly's badge because I have no idea what his badge looks like otherwise. So I'm gonna update the layout with Brawly's badge. All right, well, we got through it at least. 60, wow, it's very buffed. That's insane. No wonder it did so much. Goodbye to our second fallen friend, by the way, Shrimp. And hello to Kenny again. Kenny, you can come back. Um, I think that's good. I mean, I think Shedinja would be really cool, but I think for now I want to, like Shedinja I'm gonna use in like gym battles, right? But not on a regular team. I like Walnut, because I want to get Fortress. I think Fortress is gonna be really good. I probably take Beautifly off the team at some point in the not too distant future, but for now I think it's fine. Shinja is too good, don't use it. Oh no, I know, it's gonna be insanely good. That's why I'm gonna save it. Cause it basically means I won't lose the playthrough at any point if I have Shedinja. As long as I don't play it stupidly. All right, um, I don't have a bike so I can't go there. Rock Smash, which is where I would get that super cool Marini, but I can't get it cause I already got an encounter here. Found a nugget. My name is Steven, I'm interested in rare stones so I travel here and there. A letter for me. Yes sir, here's your letter bro. You went through all this trouble to deliver that. I need to thank you. I'll give you this TM. It contains my favorite move, Steel Wing. Oh, I need to update the layout, but I will do that shortly. Now I've got to hurry along. See ya, bro. Alrighty, guys. Oh, wait, we're getting a phone call. It's Roxanne. I heard from Blade that you're moving up through the ranks. I'd rather not think that I can't beat you. I'll shave my gym so you can challenge us again. All right. I was gonna say, well, uh, Roxanne just called me. I was gonna say, I think this is a great time for us to wrap up our third episode of Pokemon Blazing Emerald. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button down below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We've got two badges, but we've had two unfortunate, unfortunate Pokemon going down, both due to critical hits. We've got a really cool team though, so I'm excited to keep going. Show some love, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Blazing Emerald. Peace.